I'm George Robinson, I'm the Global Patient Enrollment Advisor at Recognition Health. In this video, we're going to cover a few things, including the importance of clinical trials, the process involved and how one goes about screening for a research study, and some of the common things patients tell us about their involvement in trials. In my role, I speak to hundreds of patients every year. The comment I hear the most is patients saying they wish they got involved in research studies sooner. So what is a clinical trial and why do we need them? A problem we see is that patients don't get an adequate response from their current medications. A clinical trial is looking at a scientific study to compare a new medication versus the current standard therapy. These clinical trials are so important because they're addressing an unmet need that patients have and their responses from their current medications. There's hope in clinical trials that patients can get a better response and better treatment as a result. How do I register onto a clinical trial? Registering for a clinical trial couldn't be easier. You can call us, email us, or make an inquiry on our website. Following this, one of our recruitment team members can give you a call and discuss the ins and outs of taking part in a research study, but also would need to just ask a few questions about your health and a few questions about your suitability for the trial. This usually involves things like height and weight, any recent symptoms that you've seen, and a few more questions about your medical history. After this, we'll arrange for you to have a screening appointment in one of our centres with our doctor. This will involve having a brief chat around the study, and you'll have a chance to ask any further questions that you'd like to about the ins and outs of participation. This would involve also possibly some memory tests if relevant, or some clinical assessments just based on the symptoms for the trial that's relevant for you. What happens when I start my trial? At the start of a clinical trial, Recognition Health will liaise with your GP and NHS healthcare department, but this will work in tandem throughout the process of being involved in a clinical trial. This is really to ensure that they're on board with your participation and that we can feed back to them any results from ongoing assessments with us. On your first visit, there'll be things like a blood sample to be taken and some memory questions or assessments of your physical health. What does a trial involve? At Recognition Health, we mainly run phases two and three clinical trials. This means phase one has already been passed, which is the first in human study, which assesses for a medication's safety and tolerability and to ensure that that medication can therefore move on to phases two and three. We are still assessing the safety and tolerability of medications, but we're mainly here looking at how well this medication does its job, and that is either to slow the progression of a condition or to better manage the symptoms that somebody is experiencing. At Recognition Health, you'd have regular visits with our clinical team to ensure that you're best cared for and that we're seeing the desired effects. On a research study, you'll be randomly assigned either to join the placebo group or the treatment group. This is a random allocation and you wouldn't know which group you're in until the end of a trial. It's important to know if you are in the placebo group, you can still take your normal NHS standard of care medications. Being involved in a research study won't prohibit you from taking these. What happens at the end of a trial? At the end of a clinical research study, the pharmaceutical company will need to collate all of the results globally on every patient. This can take a few months to process, but at the end of this, you will be informed of the results that have been seen and to whether the study has met its objectives. There is also a concept called the Open Label Extension Study. Now this is where patients can access the real medication and they will knowingly be on that medication. It wouldn't matter if you were in the placebo group or the treatment group, and you would be able to access this open label extension study if one exists. These usually last for one to two years. However, depending on the results seen so far, these can get extended further to five to six years. How long will a clinical trial last? How long your clinical trial will last is very dependent on which study you're in. Some studies will last six months, whereas we have other studies which last up to five to six years. How often will I have to attend an appointment? The frequency of visits are very dependent on which trial you're involved in. Some studies will need patients to attend the clinic once a month, whereas some other studies will require patients to attend once every three months. 
It's important to note though that in the early stages of a clinical trial, you may be required to attend more frequently and this is so you can have any scans or follow-up assessments to ensure you're the right candidate. Will this cost me anything? It's important to know that no patient is left out of pocket by taking part in a research study. Participation is completely free. The drug company themselves will pay for all scans and medical procedures involved. Can I leave a clinical trial? You can withdraw from the trial at any point without it affecting your continual care and there would be no financial penalties involved. If you would like to find out more about the trials we are currently running and to check your eligibility, please get in touch.